hi lovelies you're welcome to yet another tutorial video if you're new here you are most welcome my name is chini retichi for short and if you're a subscriber thanks for always coming back so quickly like you already know in today's tutorial we're going to be making this beautiful structured cave sleeve using our free hand because somebody actually asked me that is it everything we cut on pattern the answer is no but for some you can cut on pattern like if not compulsorily cut on a pattern before you transfer to your fabric but in this case i cut this directly on my fabric that's using my free hand so if you're interested in knowing how i came about this using my free hand then sit right back relax enjoy watching but do not forget to subscribe if you haven't done that also give this video a thumbs up and also share your thoughts in the comment section and um, without further ado let's dive right into the tutorial to get started you have to have your fabric placed on fold and ironed so i place it on fold like so and the width for this um, placement is going to be 13.5 inches and this is because i do not want the length of this sleeve to exceed the elbow length but if you want it to exceed the elbow length you can use up to 14 15 inches but i think just at the elbow or a little above the elbow is just you know so pretty so that's what i'm going to be using i'm going to be marking 13 inches all the way down so after i've marked up to this point this is 13.5 inches now so downward like so i'm also going to be marking the same 13 inches but before i do that i'm going to be marking out the self edge always endeavor to take out your the self edge of your fabric and then i'm going to be starting the measurement from this point that i marked so so i'm going to be marking the 13 inches from this point downwards as well so at the end of the day it's going to be giving me like a square shape so i connect the vertical one like so and then i connect the horizontal one as well so now i have the portion i'm going to be using for the sleeve now that we have the both vertical and horizontal measurement marked out at this point i'm going to be coming down by four inches i'm using four because the shoulder measurement i'm using here is about 15 inches you can also use this for even a shoulder of 14 inches but if it's above 15 let's say 16 inches 17 inches for the shoulder measurement you can use up to 4.5 inches but because i'm using um, the shoulder of 15, 14 to 15 inches i'm going to be marking four inches from this point downwards like so and then from this four inches mark i'm going to be marking outward like so i'm going to be marking two inches can you see that's horizontally from the four inches i mark two inches and then downwards again i also mark another two inches okay just take note of all these points so this is two inches and then outward horizontally from these two inches i mark one inch so at this one inch mark that's this point that you can see me marking here i'm going to be connecting this point to this upper two inches point like so can you see that's this is how the connection goes so i connect these points together and by the time you're done with the connection from this one inch to the two inches or by the time you measure you should be having two inches at this point and then 2.5 inches at this point so next we're going to be connecting this point to this point using a diagonal line so this point is going to be meeting the tip or the end of the square like so so this is what it looks like then from this point you are going to be coming up by about two inches to three inches i use two inches here but at the end of the day i increase it to three inches okay and this is because i try to avoid any sharp edge you know after i am done stitching then at this point here upward here i come down by 1.5 inch after marking out all this all these points the next thing is to connect this point to this point and then this point to this other end so this is how the connection goes so guys please in case you haven't subscribed please do well by subscribing liking and then just share your thoughts in the comment section so this is how the connection goes and at this point we are ready for our cutout so this is the part that we'll be using for our sleeve so i'm cutting it out like so so just watch carefully how the cutting goes by the time i ended up cutting this one out i used it to cut the second sleeve as well so this is what the cutout looks like this is what the sleeve should look like and i'm going to be using this to cut the interfacing as well even though i'm going to be using the same fabric for the interfacing i cut the interfacing put um, also a stay on it so at this point i am done cutting out the second one that's one for the interfacing i have the stay on it and this is what i have about four of them like so because i'm using the same fabric for the interfacing i also use a stay to harden it so at this point i get one pair of it and this is what it looks like i fold over like so i'm going to be stitching down 
at this point and i do the same thing at this point i'm going to be using half an inch for the stitching you remember clearly that this point is two inches and then at this point i'm from this point i'm going to be measuring the same two inches so i mark that point so that's the point i'm going to be stitching all the way and if you measure you're going to see that it's going to be giving you the half an inch that i said you are supposed to use to stitch so that the two points can align by the time we are closing them up so this is what the four of them look like i've stitched that part for the four pieces and this is what one of them look like so this is what they all look like so i just keep the other ones aside and i get one of it i'm going to be opening it up with the help of a pressing iron i'm going to be doing the same thing to every one of them that's the four pieces of them make sure you iron out flat so that you can have a very neat and a good looking sleeve at the end of the day so i'm done doing that and i get to this open part like so can you see this part and then i fold it over each other like so this is what it looks like and as you can see they are equal can you see the two points align perfectly so i'm going to be stitching on this part using quarter or half of an inch i'm going to be stitch closing that part and i'm going to be doing the same thing to every one of them as well and by the time i am done stitching the four of them this is what we should have so this is what they look like i've closed every one of them up and at this point what we're left with is to turn them over using the, in the ones for the interfacing so i get this one i get one of them and i'm going to be showing us how to turn it inside out i have this one as the main sleeve and i get the one that i'm going to be using for the interface and i place it over it like so that's the right side facing the right side this is what it should replacement should look like okay and then i'm going to be closing every part of it then for the turn out um what you're supposed to do i'm just going to be opening the ones for the interface and i open just a little a portion at this point can you start for the interface not the one for the main sleeve say about one 1 1.5 to 2 inches and then you close every other part so at this point i'm done stitching every side of the sleeve and i've already opened the part i said i'll be using for the turnout so this is the interfacing i opened like this not not the main fabric so i'm going to be trimming off the edges so that by the time i turn out it's going to you know lay flat and then i go ahead and turn them inside out and now this is what it looks like after turning it out and i go ahead and give it a good press like just make sure you iron everything neatly and flat so after ironing this is what you should have and then at this point you just you know give it a fold and then iron out the fold like so you do the same thing to the other parts you know how this this leaf structure always looks so you just make sure you give it that look so at this point this is what we have our sleeve is perfectly ready for attachment on the body of the dress or a blouse whatever it is you're using it to make so this is what it looks like looking very beautiful please endeavor to give this video a thumbs up and let's get straight into the attachment of the sleeve either on a dress or on a blouse as you can see i don't have the uh, bodies of this dress ready i don't have it ready yet and then but i just want to show us what the attachment look like so this is how you go about the attachment you just get the sleeve that's the uh, shoulder part of the shoulder slant area of the sleeve which is this part and then you just place it on the shoulder line of the dress or the blouse as well you can attach you can stitch uh, neatly stitch down or you can tack just anything that would give you a very good and neat finishing you just go about and do that you can tack it down just as you can see me do or you can just stitch it neatly just to make sure the overall effect is just to make sure you have the sleeve properly attached on the bodies of it, your dress or your blouse without it giving any form of discomfort so you just attach and just make sure you have it in place and guys your sleeve is ready thanks for watching and see you in my next one bye